In the first Music Transitions video, we learned that there's a basic rule system that allows us to identify how transitions should occur as we move from one piece of music into another piece of music. Uh, in this video, we're going to explore many more options for how we can make those transitions be as smooth as possible. In the game Cube, when transitioning from the Explore music to the Combat music, the player needs to hear a fairly fast transition in order to match the intensity of the gameplay as the monsters attack. To ensure a fast transition, let's set up a rule for Explore to Combat and set the Exit Source At property to Next Beat. So we'll add a new transition rule. We'll start with Explore as the source and then drag Combat as the destination and change our exit source at to next beat. Now let's take a listen. Currently the player is in the explore mode. There's the explore music. And then we'll switch them into combat. Now, the change feels a little bit awkward, and the reason is because when we jump to the destination, it's playing the combat music from the entry cue at the beginning of the music segment, which is usually the first beat of a bar. This sounds odd because we're likely to be exiting the explore music at the beat in the middle of a bar. Uh, this could leave the rhythmic impression that we might have had a bar of odd meter. The other problem is the explore and the combat music are based on the same chord progression but jumping unexpectedly to a different part of the chord progression also feels a little bit uh, strange. To handle this, in the destination area, we can change the sync property uh, to say, uh, instead of the entry cue, we want to sync to the same time as the playing segment. Now this way, if we leave the source at measure two beat three, it will transition to the destination at measure two beat three. Now this assumes that the tempo of the music segments are the same, which is the case. Uh, now let's take a listen. So we'll go back, we'll start with Explore. Now we'll transition to Combat. And there you can hear it picks up at the same point in the chord structure. The transition from Explore to Combat still feels a bit abrupt. This is because there's an instant switch to the Combat music, and we need to smooth this out a little bit with a crossfade, allowing the sound of the source to fade out while the destination fades in. In the Source area, we can click the Fade Out checkbox. Now for this to have an effect, we need to edit the Fade properties. We'll click the Edit button. And then uh, their time property, if we set this to one, indicates that there'll be a one second fade out. Now, the problem is, is that the sound will fade out before the next beat. And in this case, I wanna hear that final beat of the music uh, for the source music. And so to account for this, we can set an offset of one second. And then this indicates that when we exit, which will be right at the beat, that's when the fade out of one second will occur. We can also tailor a fade out curve. Now we need to do something similar uh, for the destination. We need to have it fade in. So we'll click the fade in checkbox, click the edit button. Same thing, we'll set a one second fade time. And then we want to hear that first beat of this section that we're transitioning into. And so in this case, we'll set an offset of minus one and then we'll set a similar curve. All right, now let's see how this transition sounds. Go back to explore music and play. And now we'll transition to combat. All right, and that sounds much smoother. A concern when transitioning between the Explore and the Combat music is that both types of music have a special bridge section that occasionally plays at semi-random times as defined by their music playlist containers. 
Those bridge sections have a different chord structure than the main parts of those themes. So, if the explore music was in a bridge and we transition at the next beat to the combat music, and the combat music selects something other than its bridge, then the musical chord structure won't sound correct. To address this, we'll set up another transition rule. Add transition. Now, we want this rule to say explore bridge to combat. So in this case, we want to open up the explore music and then find its bridge section. That's this music segment here. You can see it relates to the combat music, which also has this bridge segment. So to make our transition always work uh, when we go from explore bridge to combat bridge, we're gonna go back to our transitions. And then we're going to say, when the explore bridge is the source and we are transitioning to the combat music, then what do we wanna have happen? Okay, we'll select the rule. And then just as before, we're gonna change the exit source at to say uh, next beat. And then we'll set the sync to, uh, to say same time as playing music segment, as playing uh, segment. Uh, this time though, there's this added option here that says destination jump to playlist item. So in this case, we want to jump to a particular uh, playlist item within the combat music. To find it, we can click the browser button. And here we can reveal the entire structure of the combat's uh, playlist. And then here we see the combat bridge. This is the part of the playlist we wanna jump to. Click OK. All right, now it's guaranteed that if the explore bridge music is playing, when the player goes into combat mode, the music will always transition to the combat's bridge music. In some situations, it's difficult to transition between differing types of music without having a customized transitional piece of music as an interlude. In Cube, there's a storyline part of the game that has music with a unique feel. And in this case, the composer felt that going from the explorer music to the story music, uh, an additional musical transition was necessary. Uh, let's take a listen. We'll close the combat music and the explorer music. Now here's the story music's main theme which is more rhythmic in nature. And this piece here that says story dash trans from story. This is the interlude piece. So for this, we'll add a rule. Uh, let's go back, we'll select the WISE 201 music uh, switch container. And then we'll go to transitions and we'll add a transition. In this case, we want to come from explore. And then when we're going to the story music is when we want to set a, a specific condition. So uh, in this case, we'll set the exit source at next bar, but we're gonna go to where it says transition segment. Uh, we can click this use transition segment checkbox and then uh, using the browser, we can navigate to the specific transitional piece that we wanna use. In this case, that's in the story area. And there's the trans from story piece that we just played. We'll click okay. All right, so let's go and test this. Now to test this, uh, we want to have our music in the explore mode. And I'll go back to states. And we're gonna come from the gameplay mode, uh, playing the explore music. All right, there's our explore music. And now we'll transition to the storyline segment. Here's the transition piece. And now we're into the main story music. As we've worked, we've been building up quite a list of transition rules. 
it's possible that multiple rules could apply to a given circumstance. For example, when moving from the Explore Bridge uh, music to the Combat music, the Any to Any rule actually applies, the Explore to Combat rule applies, and of course the Explore Bridge to Combat rule all apply. Uh, which rule takes priority is based upon where it appears in the list. Uh, for example, we can see in the editor it says transitions on top have lower priority. Or you could say that items on the bottom of the list take the higher priority. It is possible to move transition rules in the list, and this will affect the behavior. Uh, for example, if I move the explore bridge to combat rule higher on the list, it's going to move it up here. Uh, now, um, the explore uh, to combat rule would override the more specific circumstance of what should happen when the explore bridge music is playing and the player goes into combat. For this reason, uh, the easiest way to think of it is, is that the more general rule should be up top, uh, which is why the default any to any rule is the one rule that cannot, by, cannot be moved from the very top. And more specific circumstantial rules should be moved towards the bottom of the list. This is why I'm going to move the explore bridge uh, to combat rule actually all the way down to the very bottom. Uh, for complex music systems, it's possible to have hundreds of transition rules. So to make them easier to move in bulk, you can create a group. Click add group, and then we can add rules to that group. In this case, I'll just uh, put the explore rules in this group. And then now I can move that group to a different position in the list. I can expand the group to see the content of it. Now, uh, in this case, this is not what I want, so I'm gonna undo that. But this just gives you a sense of the power of the, the, the rule system. Uh, and so as you can see, um, the transition system offers a solution for most any situation that could arise as you integrate music into your game.